Everybody knows that Google reviews are more important than ever, but here's something you might not know. Roughly 86% of customers are willing to write reviews for local businesses. The trick is, you just need the right strategy to capture them. Hey, I'm Isaiah Rondorio with Podium, and today I'll walk through nine proven ways to generate more reviews. Let's talk shop. Three, two, one. Number one, send review invitations over text. If you wanna get more reviews, you have to make it easier for customers to provide said reviews. And let me tell you, text messages do wonders for that. Consumers are actually twice as likely to choose text over other forms of communication. And more than a third of those who receive a text invite leave a review. And if that wasn't enough to make you a text believer, listen to this. After switching to text to collect reviews, Paul's Pest Control jumped half a star on Google in just 24 hours and received more reviews in just a month than they had in the previous five years. And it's not because of the wonderful alliteration in their name, it's the text people. Next is, ask for reviews at the right moment in your customer journey. We find that the right moment is during downtime in the sales process, typically after a service or purchase has been made. For auto dealers, this might mean right after a sale is done or your customer is waiting in finance. Asking at this time makes their experience as top of mind as it gets. As long as you delivered a stellar service or product, it gives you the best chance of them singing your praises. Number three, automate, automate, automate. A good reputation management platform takes the manual effort and guesswork out of asking for reviews. It can send invitations to review at the most key times in your customer journey and save you lots of time and wondering if you did or didn't send invitations. Number four, train your employees to ask in person. Before sending an invite, have your employees ask in person. This adds a nice personal touch to the request, reminds customers who they're reviewing, and gives them details on what to expect and when, and also streamlines this process. Next, number five, send review requests to previous customers. If you'll only seek out reviews from current customers, you're gonna miss out. Tap into your CRM to connect with previous customers and ask for reviews. It can be as quick and to the point as reminding them of the great experience they had, emphasizing the ease of reviewing, and then call it a day. Your request could sound something like this. Hey Mark, hope you're enjoying your boat. It would mean a lot if you could take a couple minutes and leave us a quick review. Thanks so much. If my name was Mark with a boat, I'd be sure to leave a review after that request. Moving right along, we also recommend asking for reviews on social media. The average consumer spends three hours a day on social. Aside from the fact that that is a lot of screen time, it also means you have a captive audience of would-be reviewers. Simply post a screenshot of your best review and follow it up with a request for other customers to leave their own feedback. And number seven, run an email campaign to collect reviews. Text is, and always will be, king when it comes to review requests, but email can be another iron in the review request fire. You can email current customers and ask them to review their experiences, share some example reviews to get them in the right headspace, and capture reviews from those among us who prefer email to text. Another thing to consider is creating in-store or digital signage. Whether it's printed in store or a reminder on your website, customers are 12% more likely to leave a review following a good experience if they see a sign or ad asking them to. And last but certainly not least, use an online review management tool. We've touched on this a few times in other videos, but if you're still using spreadsheets to keep track of your online reputation, you're living in the past, my friend. A good review management platform can remove friction from the process and make it easier to ask for reviews and get great ones back. And that's a win-win in my book. And with that, this is the end of season two, 
and our deep dive into improving your online reputation. I hope you had as much fun learning as I did. And if you miss hearing my voice, please feel free to rewatch any of these videos anytime you want. And check out our previous season. It's full of helpful content all around text marketing. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next season. Until then. Thank you.